Hey guys, glad to have you watching. Today I would like to show you two colonies that I have shown before. They have grown a lot and both will be receiving a glass aquarium. The first colony that will get the upgrade is this beautiful Capenodus dolendus. I bought this colony from Antcor. They were in pristine condition when I received them and they are happily growing ever since. I am keeping them in this tubs and tubes setup. This box used to contain my feeder insects, but suits the job perfectly for ant colonies as well. The colony is filling up the glass test tubes, which gives perfect vision. Thanks Antcor for the idea. The ants arrive in glass test tubes and I loved it. I loved it so that I want to upgrade everything eventually to glass. I already replaced my test tubes and with the colony requiring an update, I thought this would be a nice moment to replace the first plastic with glass. I bought these two aquariums for a really good price. The smaller one is for the Dolendes and the bigger one is for the Nicobarensis. That colony turned out quite surprising, which I will show you after the Dolendes. Since these are cheaper aquariums, it contains silicone on the inside and it needs some work to make these escape proof. I'm using a small thin blade to cut away all the excess silicone. This is looking pretty reckless, you might want to be a little bit more careful. You can see the difference with top and bottom. And for the leftovers that are hard to remove, I'm going to use talcohol. Talcohol is a mixture of talcum powder and alcohol and it works perfectly for corners like this. It covers the silicone entirely and will prevent the ends to get a proper grip. For the walls I'm using Teflon. It's a lot less messy and it looks a lot better. Make sure to let this dry a couple of minutes before you add the ends. And if you are adding either one of them while the ends are inside, make sure to have proper ventilation. I made sure the glass had a hole and provided it with an adapter from Antheap. These will fit perfectly with my tubing. I'm using those in every do-it-yourself setup that I have. The lids are made from wood, they contain mesh for ventilation and they have an LED strip for lighting. All that I'd like now is some sand for stability and the setup is good to go. Moving the ends was extremely difficult. I could tell you, but I'd rather show you. Besides that I forgot the cotton, it went really smooth, tube after tube and the remaining ends after. I gave the colony some food right after, usually they move in large groups and eat a lot, but I can imagine, I would be shocked as well if someone picked up my house and put it in a glass box. Some daredevils made sure I was able to get some nice shots. The ants look amazing and the dubia almost looks tasty. I really like the glow the ants have, they remind me a lot of my Synctalus, only my Synctalus are a bit smaller and a lot more hectic, while these ladies are a bit more relaxed. They have beautiful majors and grow surprisingly fast, Antcor has sold me a beautiful and healthy colony. Their grow speed has got me thinking and this seemed like a perfect solution. I'll be adding glass test tubes until the colony is big enough for the nest I'd like. But let's be honest, this is looking pretty cool as well. I have the same thing planned for the Nicobarensis, only a bit bigger as the colony size surprised me a lot. This is my Nicobarensis colony and as you can see the colony could really use an upgrade. I still have a nest attached from Aesthetic Ants and this nest used to be packed and contained a lot more brood but it mostly contains eggs and larvae now, while the other side mostly contains empty pupae shells. Most of the ants are housed in this test tube, in this piece of wood and in this water tower. A part of the colony was also housed in a piece of tubing, between the nest and the outworld. But I knew the piece of wood and the water tower had to be packed with workers. As you can see, there's quite a lot of traffic at the water tower. I think it will surprise you when I empty it in their new outworld a little later on in the video. I have been stalling this for way too long. 
I wanted to give them an extra nest, but I let it soak in very hot water since it was dirty. Big brain move of course, because the nest was starting to arch and was no longer usable. My first pick would be a white tongue nest from Antheap, but they are currently out of stock, so I had to do something. I bought the bigger aquarium for the Nicobarensis. It's 50 cm by 30 cm, and the height is also 30. Just like the Dolendas, I'm using glass test tubes, only this time they are facing the outworld. At first, I'm going to put everything in the outworld, starting with the water tower, and immediately ants run out. I'm going to speed things up when I'm putting the different items in their new setup. The tube is next. Now the piece of wood, which I will be keeping in a new setup. The ants seem to love it and I'm able to make some epic shots. I thought they would appreciate some food, since I'm a huge trash eater as well. I gave them some dubia and some beetle jelly. For the jelly, I'm using a beetle jelly spiral tower from Antheap. Just google Antheap, it's an amazing store in the Netherlands that sells wonderful products like this jelly tower. It's really cool to see the ant trails, ants running up and down leaving their pheromone trail. And you'll be able to make some awesome shots from above as well. I'm having two at the moment, but I'd like one for every bigger colony. And it seems to me that I'm not the only stress heater. Good food is good mood. I think it's time to show you how big the colony actually is, and how good they are at hiding. Let me start off with the water tower. Can you imagine? All these ants inside that tower? It gave me itches everywhere. I made a 30 minute time lapse to show you how the ants responded and which new hiding spot they are going to choose. As you can see, some ants are gathering in the test tubes already. Some are moving to the piece of tubing, while a portion hides in the wood. A small group thinks food is life and keeps on eating like nothing is happening. They are still panicking from being dumped in the outworld, workers grabbing brood and running in random directions. It takes them quite some time to cool down, and from there they are transporting the brood, one by one. As soon as the brood is replaced and the objects removed, their setup looks like this. I think it's looking pretty epic, a big line with test tubes which are filled with ants. And these ants are very good visible due to the glass aquarium and the glass tubes. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Some of the tubes contain water and some don't, so they'll be able to pick for themselves. Like I mentioned before, I will be keeping the piece of wood in their new setup. They seem to like it a lot. I'm always able to make some really nice shots of the ants, so the piece is definitely staying. Not sure if the ants are still housed inside, but I'll make sure the wood is not too far away from the test tubes. It's the only bit that looks a bit realistic, compared to the glass outworld and the glass test tubes. I will keep on feeding them a lot of protein until the line of test tubes turns into a wall of test tubes. And I have a feeling that it won't take very long before they have reached this amount of workers. I received the queen in April last year, so she has been really productive. And when the colony is big enough, I will make a new intro. And of course, this has to be with the Nicobarensis. This was it for this week's video. I'm hoping that I earned your subscription. I would appreciate it a lot. And if you want to make me extra happy, please give a like and leave a comment as well. I know I was supposed to show my huge Mesobarbaris colony. That colony plus their setup is so big that I need a little bit more time to film and make decent content. In the next video I will show you two new colonies. One of them is not a Campanatus. Both colonies come from Antcor, so I'm up for a treat, and so are you. 
For any additional information, links or products, please check the video description. It will also contain an invite link for Discord. In my opinion, this is the most fun end server there is. I need some practicing, but I will do some live streaming there once I'm ready for it, such as feeding and editing. Check out my description if it sounds interesting to you. I would like to thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed and I'm also hoping that I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.